Good morning. It is 6.52 a.m. on Tuesday, May 16th, 2017. I'm Christiana Ellis, and I just got up. This is five more minutes. Uh, it's a little bit misleading to say that I just got up because I actually got up at like 3 o'clock. Um, uh, Luna needed to go outside, uh, so I took her out and then went back to bed and then got up again. So my poor little dog here is uh, suffering, as I mentioned yesterday, I believe probably with a urinary tract infection, and it's made her a little uncomfortable. So that's one of those things where, so she, the, I took her to the vet yesterday. They're, t you know, doing the lab analysis, and so waiting to hear confirmation or whatever, but she's uncomfortable in the meantime, and that makes me sad. Look at this sad little dog. Hey, Luna. Are you sad? Can't be bothered. She's actually, I mean, don't, you know, don't mistake that for, uh, she's up and moving around when she uh, wants to um, and go outside and, you know, uh, you know, ate her kibble just fine this morning and so on. So she's... Not all that bad, but I think she's probably tired too. She's uncomfortable. And it's just one of those things where uh, I imagine it's uh, even more intense with uh, parents who have uh, children that are sick, but you just sort of feel like, but I'm supposed to be able to fix it. I'm supposed to be able to make it better. And I, I, I'm doing what I can, but that doesn't happen very quickly. Anyway, uh, I'm feeling better. Uh, I'm still feeling like I'm coughing up a little, you know, bleh. But I feel much more myself, kind of like I said yesterday. I'm feeling just clearer, more alert, which is thumbs up. Uh, we had a great uh, all role play session of so many levels last night uh, where the, the heroes of legend, having dispatched the leader of the evil hobgoblins and sealed a fisher in space and time uh, have received a hero's welcome as they return to the city of Villanocta and uh, um, they, they have a, a mysterious vision and uh, obtain new clues towards how, how to proceed and, uh, and then get drunk at a big hero's feast. Good stuff. Uh, I continue to really enjoy uh, doing that show. Uh, it's D and D is just it's. Uh, I keep coming back to uh, there's this guy named Matthew Colville who does a lot of great videos on how to be a better dungeon master, and uh, what he has said a couple of times is that he calls D and D and and other role playing games like it. Uh, the most fun thing you can do with your brain. And yeah, well, it's pretty fun. Uh, uh, obviously, well, I don't know, I didn't need to qualify that. But uh, it's, it definitely just pushes a lot of buttons for me of the storytelling and improv and just spending time with friends. That's good stuff. Um, it, I think of as a kid, you know, there was definitely, like, I was aware of Dungeons and Dragons, like, as a concept, but nobody I knew played it. And so I, I was always curious, but never, you know, never looked for it or made it happen on my own. And in a lot of ways, I think part of what needed to happen was for me to take the initiative on myself. Because even, you know, now that I'm into it in a fun way that I'm loving, it really did take me pushing uh, for it uh, for a little while to finally make it stick. And I'm so glad that I did. Um, I recommend it for any of you who have not really ever tried it. I suggest you do or, you know, look it up. But uh, I guess the trick for a lot of people is that not everybody wants to be dungeon master and if you don't have someone to be dungeon master it's kind of hard to play you know at the same time i would also say if uh 
if you haven't tried it and you're you're but you're worried about being dungeon master, you know, try it. It's fun. I like it a lot. Anyway, uh, so I will. Uh, I've got to. I'm a little behind schedule of uh, getting to work in time, so uh, I need to get moving. So I'll talk to you guys tomorrow for five more minutes. How about that?